Yo guys, I'm still yellow and today I figured that we should make a little video about game developers consistency in terms of making their games. Um, the point of this video is to highlight how some of the bigger game developers uh, and their teams or whomever are leading them, they're making some incredibly stupid decisions. Um, so yeah, quickly about this gameplay. The game is called Ironside. It's some free-to-play game that is apparently like an older fashion type clone of the Call of Duty games. Uh, I just figured I should use the gameplay because I destroy people and it was pretty fun. Not sponsored, obviously. I just had a blast and uh, for being a free-to-play game, I'm actually pretty pleased with it. Now, people who, who um, whom have followed me for a long time on this channel, you know that I'm relatively picky in terms of what games I enjoy to, to play. So um, yeah. Uh, take that for what you will. Anyways, as for the main topic here, um, so the developers being consistent, it's incredibly important if you want to have a good product that is going to stand the test of time, but also which will be respected by absolutely everybody and that will produce uh, results which will be cool for the viewers to watch. A good example will be how Whenever you change a game gradually, you're further and further divorcing older players away from the game because it's no longer the game that they used to play, objectively speaking. So if you're like the head developer of, of uh, Valve uh, for the Counter-Strike division or whatever the hell, and you're sitting down thinking that you're making a lot of good, cool, awesome decisions, sure, on their own they are, but only for the casual people who do not take the game seriously. Literally speaking, objectively speaking, and, and what I'm about to say, I'm not kidding. A lot of the professionals that are playing today and a lot of the super hardcore players, they would not give a damn if every single wall and every single mesh, every single additional texture were just gone and it was just gray. Because fact is that we just want to be able to perform well and do well. The, how the map look and how the, it's designed, it comes secondary down to being able to compete and do great. But that demands that all the rules within the game are set in stone so that you can rely upon them so that you can keep on practicing off of that. And sure, new maps and map changes are cool. That is why I think the, the, the cache rework was pretty decent. Uh, it didn't have too many insane changes, but now we are already at the too far gone stage of changes anyways. So it doesn't really matter too much whatever additional have been changed. But fact is that that is the better way to do it if you want to add new flavorful things to a game rather than not. But past that, what other issues do I have with game developers sucking in this sort of avenue? Um, the Activision team who make Call of Duty, they are a good example aside from the Valve team. Uh, but I guess I should talk more about the CSGO game before I dive into that other stuff. But it's all in the same genre of how Game developers want to create additional hype and content uh, and things that pull players in for their game. But they tend to always neglect the professionals and the competitive players and they always step on them instead of giving something on the side that makes a lot of sense. That is why like all the early, the earlier uh, events or whatever the hell, the, the coins, uh, the, the breakout event, the... Um, uh, what was it called again? Uh, the Phoenix event the, with the Phoenix Phoenix coin and all that sort of stuff. The, those type of things. Man, I, I, I can't remember for, 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 li for the life of me because it's not my primary focus anymore. But anyways, those types of things, they worked way in the, back in the past because the map pool wasn't drastically changed. The weapons weren't either and the weapon mechanics weren't either as well. So the, you could play that on the side and have fun with it and all the maps and that sort of stuff. But it wouldn't destroy or screw with all the professionals playing which means that you got the best of both worlds. But eventually Valve decided, you know what, we're going to screw up the maps and the, the tapping and the spraying mechanics so that now suddenly the training mechanics in gunfights have become completely destroyed, fundamentally speaking. So now suddenly all the professionals started to struggle more, struggle more the older professionals, and uh, a lot of uh, cool, awesome systems, uh, strategically speaking, were destroyed from the game effectively and it's been for it's been for like this for like five six seven years by now so that is just history at this point but all that sort of stuff aside the developers they still think that they're doing the better thing so they will keep on ignoring the map balance for example we used to have one t-side map one ct-sided map and then we had a couple of in-betweens and a couple of very balanced ones uh, with the addition of nuke being reworked way back that destroyed the entire balance. And then later they had to do more tweaks, so they did changes to the weapons, maybe indirectly spurred from this change. But like, I'm not speaking facts here, but maybe at least a passively to some degree. And then past that, 
we had more changes to the economy further down the in, in the years and so eventually all that sort of balance which made it so that the pick pick and ban type of stage uh, when you are going to a tournament it didn't matter anymore uh, specializing on a map rather than all the maps like you no longer had to specialize on a map rather and it makes the game a lot more stale because suddenly there's a lot less um depth to what a player need to practice uh, or rather what will reward uh, like how they will be rewarded from that sort of stuff and so in effect it have indirectly in many ways made counter-strike a lot more stale suddenly being able to destroy two people who are flanking you is a lot less awesome because it's more expected because you're good so nothing crazy is going to happen when you do it because you are simple for example ju just making one real example while in the past you being able to take out those two guys it w should be impossible but you doing it was sick so already you have diminished a, a, like a, a very essential hype factor of the game and that's aside from other scenarios as well for example you being able to take on way too many opponents being able to do one versus three one versus four one versus five scenarios because you are getting pseudo fed because this tapping mechanic is resetting that much faster than what it used to be it's about three times fa as fast as it used to be which is ridiculous so okay what does this boil down to well let's try and use a real life example to make uh, sense of all of it so you are a golf player you got a golf club and you are going down to the golf club <laughs> you're going to just play golf but randomly, whoever is in charge for the golf, uh, like golfing worldwide, they they were like, you know what? Today now, all the balls are going to be three times as heavy. And so you take your your golf club and you're going to try and swing, and you completely bend it, and yeah, it's absolutely a mess. So now you need to buy all the new golf clubs, and you need to train your arms way more in order to be able to hit that ball further. And uh, suddenly, all the engineers need to create better golf clubs as well that are more sturdy and all that sort of stuff. Uh, just because of how they arbitrarily decided, you know what, we need to do this change because it's going to be more hype, because people need to be more fit to hit that ball further, blah blah blah. Let's do another example because that one is a bit ridiculous, but this one will be way worse. So people are playing football slash soccer, and suddenly, arbitrarily, the, the football association or whatever the hell is going to make the ball four times as heavy. Because, why not? That would make it sick because, pe sick because people need to train more and be more fit and blah blah blah. So randomly, one day, you're going to play soccer. And so you're going to try and kick that ball and, oh my god, you broke your foot. <laughs> and that's aside from how now suddenly the entire meta of football is going to be, now suddenly people need to be super fit with their feet. They need to use techniques to hit that ball. The ball needs to be made out of a different uh, material so that it's more comfortable to, to be, uh, be kicked at all. And that's aside from how you can't hit the ball anymore. Now, that, now that's basically dangerous as hell. Uh, so only insane people do that uh, <laughs> to some degree or they need to use new techniques. Like you can see how, why did you change something that is core to the game that you're playing just to do it because you wanted to get XYZ. Like it's it's poorly thought through. That's the thing that I'm boiling towards here. Like that that's the core thing that pisses me off. Why is it so poorly thought through? Why are these people sitting down thinking that they're so insanely smart and then me instantly as it happens and year upon year upon year upon year later, I'm just pissed at it because I can see how good things used to be and now that is something that will never exist anymore. So yeah, that sucks, but let's go towards a different game because this happens across more games because the same developers are doing the same dumb things, which is super frustrating. So the Activision Call of Duty series in its own way have uh, the same problems, but in a completely different way. So every single year, uh, ever since like Call of Duty 3 or 4, there are going to be annoying things in the game. For example, triple grenades, one-man army noob tube, uh, people are going to have a Kimbo rapid fire uh, FGAs or whatever it was in Modern Warfare 3. Um, people are going to just have super broken OP weapons. Rapid fire MP7 with extended mags or and or suppressor. Like the list is endless. Every single Call of Duty game there's going to be a weapon or many weapons that are completely like it is completely broken. Destroying everything within its path. So the gunfight is a gamble. So the game isn't really competitive at all or even if it ever were it's definitely not after that because Again, you can see the point here. The developers just aren't doing consistent proper work. They don't care. They just want to add another element of the same type of thing when they release a new game the year later. It's the same annoying crap every single year and it's pissing me off so much way, way, way back. I decided to never play Call of Duty again. And that was aside from all the other issues. But it's the same 
pattern of how they think they're doing something great just by creating something. And sure, you are creating entertainment, and if you do enjoy it, by all means. But to people who take the game a little bit, just a tiny bit more seriously, and they see the same thing year upon year again, of course we aren't going to buy and play and endorse that game when it's actually crap and it's going to keep on being crap. And that's aside from all the other factors that might uh, pop up, for example, uh, like Call of Duty Ghosts ran like eight ass, any any horrible word that you can add in there, like anyone, like any horrible word you can you can make up in your mind. Absolute crap, absolute AIDS cancer. There we go, that, that's a good one, a classic, a classic at least where I live. So yeah, aside from that, um, yeah, anyways, general theme there, so why should I play those games? I would rather than play Iron Sight, which is made like more of a more down-to-earth, uh, grounded type of, of p team of people who just update the game and they add and fix bugs and that sort of stuff, and there aren't any seriously insane broken things of that type of level. You also cannot cascade, annihilate people with kill streaks and all that sort of stuff. And I'm not even trying to endorse the game, it just fits so much better towards what I enjoy because it have tried to, at least, exclude all the annoying, really, really, really poor, sad, pathetic, and bad things that these other dev game developers just keep on adding to their game. Because again, they don't really have any uh, intelligent vision towards how they want to make their game. So that's the general gist of this entire video. Try for the life of you to try and find some game that doesn't do this. This is, by the way, why I'm enjoying a lot. Uh, I'm enjoying a lot to playing um, Smash Melee. The game itself, the core mechanics, there are so few changes ever since it was made, like late 2001 or, or whenever it was released. And sure, the community are adding updates to the game, but it never impacts the core game. So you need to keep on practicing and, and be better. There aren't any actual internal changes to the game. And that means that you can rely upon the game. So it's more fun to keep on playing year upon year upon year. And that's aside from how complicated it is. But it's one great example among, as you can probably understand by now, very few and a declining amount of games that you can rely on upon staying true to the good values it had and being improved upon in that direction rather than the reverse. For example, just adding new games for the hell of it, which just isn't satisfactory. And especially when you spend a, a crap ton of time, you spend 5,000 hours, 10,000 hours playing that esport game and suddenly they just rip out a core part of it. And so you're playing a new game and you can never go back. Um, completely unacceptable, at least to me and my standards. And that is my stance on everything. So I figured I should highlight this because apparently nobody ever talks about this and it's frightening to see really old, apparently really smart people within Counter-Strike having no idea that this exists, uh, but that speaks towards how much they know about the game rather than not. Uh, whatever, I mean, I don't play the game too much anymore, but yeah, so there we go. Thanks for watching. Uh, here are two related videos, blah, blah, blah. Support the channel in any way, shape or form you if you like. Um, this has been your Norwegian Hardcore PC Gamer. I believe you and have a great day.